I had one day this kid came up to me with a gleam in his eye. He had the book and he was like, Mr. Riordan, do you know that you used the F word 54 times? He was so thrilled. He'd gone through and highlighted them. I told him it was actually 55. Go back and recount. Percy calls Blackjack a mare in the Sea of Monsters. Um, and then later on for the rest of the series, he's a stallion. Uh, well, I could tell you that Percy's just not very observant. You know, there was a lot going on, and he was like, yeah, it's a mare. Oh, whoops, no, it's not. You know, really, I just forgot. Have you ever regretted adding a certain scene or line in one of your books? Every scene and every line I have regretted. <laughs> but that's the thing about being a writer. When you, when you finish it, you wish you could take it back. It's like, oh, that sounds horrible. Who wrote that? But it's out there in the world, and you just got to go with it. I got interest from the movie studios very early on. And they said, yeah, okay, we want to option it. And I said, hmm, okay, well, if I do that, do I get any sort of control? And they basically said, oh, <laughs> control. <laughs> no. There were really two options. I mean, either you could go outside, which I hated, or you could read, which I also hated. I've noticed a lot of uh, kids coming up to me, writing me, saying, I grew up on your books. And I'm like, oh, wow, thanks, that makes me feel old. How long, on average, does it take to write one of your books? Well, Falcon, it usually takes about two months longer than I actually have. And I mean, if you're walking through Tartarus, you know, it helps to crack a few jokes. <laughs> All the kids dressed up, wrote these little prayers to the gods, and went out to the barbecue pit, fired it up, and we did burnt sacrifices. I can't believe they let me get away with that, but they did. And you'll also see what happens when all of these characters are thrown into dangerous battles together. Should you be worried? Oh yeah. But would you consider writing more from Percy's perspective again? I love Percy Jackson too, but I have to say, the guy has been through an awful lot. I think I should probably leave him alone and let him finish high school at this point. So I name some of the characters after former students. Uh, Mrs. Dodds, the evil math teacher. Yeah, she's real, you know, her, her name is Mrs. Dodds. Well, I don't know why, but as I was teaching middle schoolers, I suddenly just got the desire to contemplate murder. I don't know why. Um, no, really, I was just reading a bunch of mystery novels. It's not like they're going to hand me $40 million and say, go have fun. Uh, why did you decide not to do an epilogue? Why did I decide not to do an epilogue? Because I don't do epilogues. I just hate them. And now, how about a short reading from the first chapter of The Burning Maze, chapter one. No, I refuse to share this part of my story. It was the lowest, most humiliating, most awful week in my 4,000 plus years of life. 